Hello, my name is Edmond Jamna, and on behalf of DW Consult, I want to welcome you to Tutorials on the Go. Our zeal here is to help transition people with zero, struggling, or shaky base in accounting to an expert position and to a place of confidence. It is also a platform to assist in the smooth studying of the ACC and ICA professional qualifications, as well as for any tertiary accounting discipline. All that is required of you is to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell as well to be part of the program. Tutorials on the Go. Bringing accounting to heart. Now, to this episode's lecture. Agriculture, IES 41. Now, the objective of IES 41 is to establish standards of accounting for agricultural activity. So, IES 41 excludes bearer plants, agricultural produce at the point of harvest, government grants, and intangible assets. So, let's look at what agricultural activity is. This is the management by an entity of the biological transformation of biological assets for sale, transformation into agricultural produce or into additional biological assets. So agricultural activity are distinguished by the fact that management facilitates and manages biological transformation and is capable of measuring the change in the quality and quantity of biological assets. This will exclude managing animal related recreational activities such as game parks and zoos as there is no management of the transformation of the biological assets but simply control of the number of animals. This also excludes the breeding of animals in zoo and game parks. This is because the natural breeding that takes place is not a managed activity and is incidental to the main activity of providing a recreational facility. Ocean fishing is also not an agricultural activity because it is the harvesting of biological assets from managed sources. Let's look at the various components in the definition of the agricultural activity. The first we'll look at is biological asset. Now this is a living animal or a plant. The biological transformation is the process of growth, degeneration, that is the physical or quality reduction of the biological asset, production and procreation that cause qualitative or quantitative changes in a biological asset. Now let's look at agricultural produce. Now this is the harvested product from the biological asset. For example, milk drawn from cattle meat gotten from goods, etc, etc. Let's look at the measurement of uh, biological assets. Now, we recognize biological assets or agricultural produce only when the entity controls the assets as a result of past events and it is probable that future economic benefits will flow to the entity and also the fair value or the cost of the asset can be measured reliably. If you remember this definition, it is that of an asset. Now, biological asset. Now this is measured at fair value, less cost to sell. Agricultural produce is measured at fair value, less cost to sell at the point of harvest. Now when this value is gotten, it is treated as an inventory that is transferred to IAS2 and measured subsequently. So agricultural produce is outside the merit of what IAS41. Now changes in the fair value of a biological asset is recognized in the statement of profit or loss. Now the changes can be due to the physical nature of the asset, that is when the animal or the plant grows or the price of the asset when the fair value changes on the market. Biological assets attached to land are measured separately from land. So the biological assets are measured as discussed earlier in the first point. Then the land is measured under IAS system. An example of that will be a mango tree in a forest plantation. Let's look at various issues related to biological assets. Now the fair value is the market price for the assets based on current expectation. It can be said to be the price that two willing knowledgeable parties at arm length will arrive at for the asset. Now, cost to sell is the additional cost of disposing the asset. This can include commissions, levies, transfer taxes, and duties. Now, intangible asset, example, a production quota or a milk quota, is not treated under IAS 41, but under IAS 38, that is intangible assets. Now, government grants, that is unconditional. Is recognized in the statement of profit or loss as an income when it becomes receivable. Now, that of a conditional government grant is recognized also as an income, but when the conditions attached are fulfilled. Okay, now let's look at bearer plants. Now, a bearer plant is used in the production or supply of agricultural produce, it is also expected to produce for more than a year. Now, it is also remotely likely of being sold as an agricultural produce unless it is sold as a scrap goods. 
Now, this is outside the scope of IAS 41, but it's considered under IAS 16, which is property plant and equipment. Now, barrel plants are different from biological assets in that the barrel plant is purposely grown or kept to be generating agricultural produce. For example, when you have trees being grown to be turned into lumber, when you have animals being grown, just turned into meat to sell to the market. Okay, guys, this is where we are going to bring our discussion to an end. I hope everything that we have discussed has brought a fair understanding to your knowledge. If not, kindly put whatever reservations or feedback that you have in the comment section below. Whilst at that, kindly click on the subscribe button below, click on the notification bell by it, and share to your friends. So we'll come away again by way of tutorials on the go. Take care of yourself and stay blessed. Poker, poker.